How to use Cero accounting software. Hello guys and welcome to today's video. Are you a small business owner or a freelancer looking for an easy way to manage your finance? Cero is a cloud-based accounting software that can help you keep track of your finances, invoices, bills, and more. In the Cero tutorial for beginners, we'll walk you through the basics of Cero, including how to set up your account, add your bank accounts and transactions, and generate financial reports. Whether you're new to accounting or just looking for a better way to manage your finances, this step-by-step -step guide will help you get started with Cero. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to Cero.com where we are right now, and this is what you're going to see. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to click on Try Cero for free or login if you have an account, but for us, we're going to go with signing up. By clicking that button, we would be redirected to this sign up page over here. As you can see, we can have a 30 day free trial to access Cero right now. There are over 3.5 million subscribers using Cero to power their business. There is also no credit card required. There is 24 7 online support, and you can cancel your trial or subscription anytime. Now, over here, we're simply going to enter our first name, last name email phone location confirm that you're not a robot by clicking this and you're going to agree that you have read the terms and services over here now after entering your information you're going to receive a verification email on your email account and you're simply going to check out your email now as you can see this is our verification email we're simply going to click on yes it's me let's get started now after that, we would be redirected back to Zero, and we are going to activate our account. We're going to enter a password for us over here. Now after that, after entering a password, we will be redirected to this page where we're going to start creating our information and start with our Zero tutorial. As you can see here, we're first going to enter a business name. We're going to enter a random name for now. Just like that and then you're going to search the industry for example construction retail services you could also click on select it from this list which would allow you to better specify or look for the type of industry that you are currently in for example we're going to go with financial and insurance services for the meantime and you're going to enter your country your birthday over here and you could also enter information about if you have an employee. For now, we're going to go with just me. And I'm not a robot over here. You could also enter your last day of financial year in this section. We're not going to touch that for now. But if you know when your last day of financial year, you just put it in, in this section over here. And after that, you're going to click on start trial. Or you could buy now if you want to have a plan right away. But for now, we're going to go with start trial. Now, after all of those steps, we would be redirected to the dashboard of Zero. Now, over here, this is where I'm going to teach you the basics of Zero. As you can see here on the left side, we have a pop-up, which is a setup guide, which would teach us or introduce us on what we need to do to fully set up our Zero account. As you can see here for our introduction, we have the introduction to Zero. We're going to know about send invoices, add bills, connect our banks, set up payrolls and manage employees we have also additional features and find help in zero over here on the dashboard as you can see we can see our visibility over here our cash flow by by connecting our banks or our credit cards in this website we would be able to see our cash flow over here if we allow zero to manage or view our expenses you would be able to see a graph of how your cash flow works you could also see get paid faster with online invoices in this section. You could click on the specific parts to see more information about the specific parts. As you can see here, you could also track your money, where it is going. You could track time and cost on your jobs. You could pay your bills on time. You could stay on top of your taxes. You could explore and connect with Cero over here. When you click on learn more, we would be able to connect our bank account. Like I said earlier, by clicking this, you would be able to connect a bank account. On get paid faster with online invoices, you could create and customize your first invoice by clicking this. You could also import unpaid invoices to track what's due. We're going to open this on a new link for later. 
there's also a track where your money is going you can check out the reviews and categories for transactions by clicking this button over here you could also add new bills by clicking on this section over here by clicking this you would be redirected to this section over here you could add the date it was from the due date the reference of the bill the total the price here you could also have the options to have tax exclusive tax inclusive or no tax over here you could add the item that you have over here description quantity unit price and account there's tax rate over here and amount in the section after inputting all the information that you have for your new bill it will show you a subtotal and total over here and you would be able to approve and approve and add another over here you could also add notes as you can see here on the bottom left over here or you could save that as a draft or save save and continue for editing and you could also save and wait for approval and save and add another I'm going to go back for the meantime in the invoices over here we're going to check this out it is very similar to bills that we saw earlier as you can see here we have contacts like to whom this invoices would be sent the issue date the due date the invoice number our reference over here we could set up online payments in this section we could change our currency in this section for example usd just like that we could have united states dollar we could also add item description quantity price account tax rate and amount over here and you would receive your total and total tax in this section we could also attach files if you want to attach files in this section and you could save this and close you could approve and email this you could approve and add another approve and get link or you can print this as a pdf as well go back, going back here we're going to go back to our dashboard you could also click on track time over here you could create projects so that you could track your time and like manage your finances when it comes to the project that is related when you click this we are going to be redirected once again to the project section now over here we can add our project we're going to click on get started now over here you can invite people to our project over here for example your employee or like another client or like a team member anything like that and as you can see right now we have no project and we would be able to add a project by clicking on this button over here on the top right we also have draft projects over here and close projects on the left section we could have timers on our project we could check out our reports detailed time detailed over here financials and summary over here by clicking on new project we would be able to create a project or we could have a draft or in progress we're going to check out the in progress one in this section we're going to add a new contact to add a new contact you could press this and you could enter their company name first name last name and email over here uh, it is required to have a contact to create a progress over here this is like maybe the client that you are going to make this project for the project name over here the deadline the estimate by clicking this you would be able to have an automatic estimate of your expenses over here by disabling this you would be able to manually type in how much your estimate of the project is how much it would cost just like that you could also disable or enable private and public access over here and after filling in the required information you can simply click on create over here you can also click on timer like i said earlier there will be a timer as you can see here we would be able to add a timer and like choose the task of the specific project to time it's like this you could reset and dismiss it by clicking on the three dots over here dismiss that for now uh we're going to go back to our dashboard we could also check out your reports over here by clicking this we would be able to see reports for our financials or our account over here you could check out reports that we need we have sales tax reports profit and loss a new profit and loss balance sheet and a new version of their balance sheet over here for example we're going to go with sales tax report click on save over here and in this section we're going to set up an accurate financial report you're going to add details that is required by clicking this you would be able to redirect again and we would need to connect our bank though before we could check out the reporting over here we could also enter a date without connecting a bank just like this 
And as you can see here, we have conversion date over here. We're going to click on save. And just like that, we would be able to add conversion balances in this section. You could add like your accounts, debit, credit, just like this. You could add new line by clicking this. You could have another section to put in balances. And you would be able to see information about your debits and total credits over here. Now back in our dashboard, there is also apps over here that we could use to help improve our zero experience. We have Link My Books, Hotdoc, Stripe, and Sift over here. And you could explore more apps to use with zero by clicking on this button over here. We could check out our business over here. We have analytics, short-term cash flow, business Snapchat, invoices, quotes, sales of review, bills to pay, purchase orders, purchase of review, expense claim, product and services, and pay run over here. Under accounting, you could manage your bank accounts, reports, advanced reports. There's also sales tax reports over here, like what we saw earlier, charge of accounts, and fixed assets. We have projects over here, like all time project over here, time entries, stuff, time overview. You could edit the project settings of stuff permissions, stuff cost per rate. And over here on contacts, this is where you would be able to add different contacts into your list over here like all contacts customers and suppliers over here you could also create a new invoice by clicking this button over here you could create new invoice bill contact quote purchase order send money receive money and transfer money over here this is like a quick access for all of this information you could also search in features over here if you're a bit lost and you don't know which section the feature you're looking for you can simply search it over here it's also a notification in this section and by clicking on this six dots over here you would be able to see apps also when you click on edit dashboard you could disable some some of these options for example you can disable these apps you could also disable like tax and reporting disable the get visibility get faster over here and we're going to save and just like that we're going we were able to fix our dashboard into a more cleaner depending on what you want to see you would be able to edit it by doing this edit dashboard over here now when you click on your business name over here on the left side you would be able to see files settings subscription billing you could add organizations in this section you could see your expense claim analytic plus workflow hub doc app store and my zero section over here now I will leave it up to you to explore more features over here. You should connect your business, you could connect your banks, your credit card, so that it would help you manage your financial much better than before. And I will leave it up to you to explore different features even more. And we'll leave it at that. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.